me. This is a problem. It's okay because I shall border the painting with some ribbon or tape or something. Trim that up. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of that. Again, should be able to do this with the in one go. Should have started on the short edge, you know. Dope. Okay, so about there is good, I believe. There we go. Oh, didn't quite press hard enough there. Let's help it along a little bit. There you go. A pixie. And we'll do this end. Picks. There's nobody there. Oh, I haven't put the radio on in the kitchen, which doesn't help. The kit does add a, li a little bit of distraction for him. Again up here. Oh, damn it. Might need to refresh my blade. Scissors, right? Okay. Um, that's about right. I'm a bit nervous in this corner. Try and stop that happening again. Do that. Be out up in a minute. Sorry, but I need the light on. That's what we're missing. Okay, sorry about that. Battery went. So I just need to trim up some edges where I mucked up a little bit. Wasn't quite as careful as I needed to have been. That's this bit here. Bit. Uh, I need a bit 
more of a gradient. And then here, I might leave it actually. I'm going to use PVA so I can PVA it back together. Right. Now, what I just want to try. I'll do that after. Okay. So, I'm going to put this on some sort of backing to help it lie flat and to keep it in position in the frame. So, let's open the frame. I'm going to use this one. So these were £2.50, 30 by 40 frame from Ikea. Okay, so, oops, sorry, my bad. Take this back off. See, now the recess that I've got available to use is only that much. What have I got? My tape measure won't even measure it, probably. Yeah, I can't see. Looks like what, maybe half a centimetre. The foam board that I've got is five milli. But that doesn't take into account the thickness of the painting, which is probably, I don't know what's the depth on these. How deep is that with the things? So it kind of takes up that takes up depth as well. Actually what I haven't done with this is I haven't pressed it with a rolling pin so let's do that. <clears throat> I bought these foam, foamy, funny foam sheets the other day from the range. And I don't know why I got red, because I haven't really got anything that has red. That, you know, that is red. Um, actually I do, I've got that. I've got um, an Ever Moment picture. But this isn't big enough, so I'd have to buy some more anyway. So, anyway, round, waffle, waffle, waffle. Alright. So, I thought I'd use this between my painting and the... ...beads. To protect them, so I can press a bit harder. Right, sounds like it should be good. Okay. <laughs> and I've got the impression. On the other side now, that's cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, because some of these beads are quite big as well. So... 
Right, this should be all sort of firmly in place now. Okay. So, what I want to do, dog? Pixie. Pixie! Right, so I want to put that onto one of these foam sheets. Now the question is, do we go blue? How would that look? Blue with a pink frame. Looks quite nice. Shh. Well, it is a mostly blue picture, isn't it? So, should we go pink? Let's try pink. I like that. I think I prefer that. The blue was good, but I think I prefer that. Yep, I'm going with that. Right, okay. So, how does this foam fit into the frame? Let's have a look. Does it actually fit into the frame? Do I just have to cut off the end? Do I have to cut off the edges? Oh, like it's a smidge is too long down one edge. That's annoying. So I need to take off a smidges. And this says it's 30 by 40, but I think it's for a 30 by 40 picture, isn't it? Look. Yeah, it's slightly longer than 30. Not quite 31, though. So, I need to take off... Right, I need a pen. Pen, 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 where's my pen? Right, I'll choose this one. So, I need to take off. Right, let's measure the actual width of the gap with my tape. Let's not do approximations. So with that there, this is it's actually not easy holding that there. Where did my glasses go? On my head. God's sake. Mm. So that's thirty one, two, so that's thirty two millimeters by. Thirty 
32 by Forty-two. Okay. I don't know where my little retractable tape measure's gone. I'll have to get my annoying one. I have to wind back in myself. Right, so I need to make my foam back in 32 by 42. So get that out of the way for now. Put that down. Oh, there's a bit of a mark on that side. Pixie! This side is okay, so. Can be the face inside. Pixie! So we need 32 by 42. I've wound my tape measure up. I need my tape measure. God, I'm a dope. So let's get 42 first. So 42. What did I say? 42.2 wasn't it? No, it's not 32, it's 30 point. God, I'm actually here. Right, 40.2. There. There. Let's just check that against this. Looks about right. That's too long, actually. Right, so I'll cut inside that. Right. I don't know how easily it cuts this. I mean, it's only thin stuff, so it cut easily. I've got a little bit there that I'm not going to be able to use for anything else. It's annoying. It's a reasonable edge. Okay. Get the frame back. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just need to do 30.2 across the width. So 
So, find this in a bit. I'm sorry, she's very barky today. Gets the weather. It's a little bit windy outside. As a on edge. Okay, so 30. And then I have to put three little marks. Oh, tapes just fall on the floor. So one, two is there. I need to put three marks on this because it's a little long edge. And I haven't got a long straight edge yet. I've got one on the way. One, one. There. And then last mark. Right. Tape measures on the floor now. God damn it. Okay, so this might not be that easy. I've used my rotary one for this, maybe. It's about right. It really is only a smidge that needs to come off the edge of this. <coughs> some stuff on it. <laughs> okay, so... And I'm gonna leave my blade there and smoosh my ruler across. And carry on. There we go. So that was easy enough. It looks about even. Let's see what the frame says. Well, that's nice and snug. Cool. So, does that look good? Yeah, okay. So now I've got to stick this on here. And the question is, should I use that adhesive spray I got the other day? I think I should probably give it a try. So, this says... Oh, do you know the dog? Let me sort her out. Right, I've read the directions on this and the hazard warnings. Uh, I only need to put it on the back of the painting so that I can, you know, lift it off again to reposition it. Although that looks like that's bang in the middle, to be fair. Um, but it needs to be done in ventilated areas and it's toxic to aquatic life. So I don't want to be spraying it inside because inside isn't ventilated and we've got a fish tank. So... I am going to pass on that for today because it is absolutely tipping it down outside. So I can't do it, go and do it outside. So the alternative is PVA. So I might as well use some PVA. I 
and I shall, or I could use double sided. I wonder if double sided tape would work. Ooh, I bought some, actually, right, just give me a minute. What did I do in a minute? So I got this the other day. Double sided tape and pads. So they look like they've got a dimension to them, like they were. So I could try this, put some pads. That won't help straighten it out that much though, will it? Yeah, so this is is like, yeah, I'm not going to use that because it's not flat. And I'm going to really annoy the dog in a minute and pro probably go and get some normal double-sided tape. But it came with some tape like that and some pads, which I thought may be handy, but there's already enough thickness to this and I want to get it as flat as possible. So I need to have more... Adhesion between the the canvas and the backing, the mount. Right, so what I'm going to do, I think, is normal sticky tape, normal double sided sticky tape. So I need to get that, which means disturbing the dog. I'm sorry. Well. Any other dog would just stay there, but she won't. Where's my tape dog? So you think anybody who knew what they were doing would have their tape out ready before they started recording, but... You know, that would mean having some sort of level of professionalism. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I ended up standing on the doggy. He stood on the doggy. Good old. Good old. Right. Good grief. What an idiot. Okay. So... I'm going to put a little mark because this looks like bang on perfect. I just plump, plopped it down. Let me just see what it measures all the way around. See if I manage to buy fluke, get it in the middle. So that's. Two point nine. Oh, I've just moved it. That's three now. That's two point nine. It's come a little bit that way. Smidges that way. And then two point nine that way. Yeah, that's in the middle. So
So that's the outline of my picture, which you may not be able to see. I just want to double check. I'm on the right side. If it makes much difference, it doesn't make any difference. Right. Sticky tape. Okay. So what I usually do is, I presume this stuff stuff sticks to foam. Let me just check with my off cup. I don't want to end up putting it down in it naturally. Stay in there. Okay, it's sticking to it. Will the canvas stay stuck? Let's try. Take this off. It'll peel off, but it's, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Right. Should be good. We should be good. So, let's stick some tape down. Right. I don't want it too close to the edge. And then I'll do the same at the other edge. Do down the long both long edges. You do realise, guys, I'm making this all up as I go along. <laughs> you can see, can't you, that there's been absolutely no preparation for this whatsoever, apart from buying the foam, which I suppose is preparation. Ooh, now then, this has gone down on an angle, which is bad. Can't get it back up. So let's see if we can rectify that somewhat because I don't want any lumps and bumps transferring through to the front of the canvas. So let me just you see I've got a kink in there. I don't want a kink in there. So I'm just gonna nick it. before it sticks down to give it a bit of room to move how's that still a little bit of a kink in it on this side I think that'll go flat actually Yeah, I didn't want to risk lifting it off the foam because I've got a feeling it would, you know, pull pull bits of the foam up rather than coming up off the foam. 
so trying to get it straight here without overlapping so there okay and I am also going to put some in the middle so one long piece in the middle and then a bit on either side uh, and that should be okay it's going to be secured around the edges of the painting as well, so don't really need to overdo it too much. Right, so I just need to lift these. Where's my tweezers? Are probably easier than using my knife. Tweezers to lift up these. Covers. It's taking the sticky with it. Right, and finally, <coughs> okay, so now the trick is to put the canvas back where it should be. Right, I think I'm going to do it the other way. So I'm just lining up the marks that I put on before. Trying to without sticking it down yet. Not as easy as I'd hoped. So these at the top should automatically line up, she says. Which they didn't for some reason. Right, I'm going to roll her that on. So I get my piece of red. Right, 
I'm just going to flatten it onto the, obviously flatten it onto the sticky tape behind the painting. I'm not putting too much pressure on, but I just want to make sure it's flat. Okay, it's a lifting at the edges because I didn't put the sticky too close up to the edges. So, edges. Let's look at that ribbon. I have, have I got washi tape that would work? See, so I could use these ribbons. Maybe the blue ribbon would look nice, edging. I have got some, let me go and get my washi tapes. <clears throat> so I've got some pinks and I've got some blues. Have I got any with butterflies? There's one in here that's got butterflies on it, I think. Oh, it's fish. Fish. It's fish, okay. That's quite nice. It might be okay. It's more lilac than pink though. There's this one, which looks a bit better, maybe. Uh, so I think there's some possibilities. What have we got in here? I haven't used any of these yet. I've had them for a while. Uh, Might be waves actually. Mm, now there's this one that's just like a fancy squiggle. Mm. Well, there's that one. Actually, this has got leaves on it. I could use that. That's got pink and blue, well, lilac and blue leaves on it. I think I'll use that one. Right. Decision made. Okay. Doggo. Picks. Be quiet. Right, so I'm just going to go around the edge and put this all the way along. Which way around should I have it? That way around. Okay. It's not really opaque enough. Because I put black marks on my foam, didn't I? And this is see-through. 
So that's not going to work. Try something else. Is the ribbon see through? Is the question. Let's have a look. Get into it. Ah. I can see the end of the ribbon, but I can't find the end of the plastic to cut the plastic on. What the hell? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, do we go with blue? Because we're getting a lot of pink going on, aren't we? Oh, silver. What about silver? I'm sure there's an easier way to get into these. Silver. Or blue. Oh, I found the end of the plastic on that one. Good grief. Okie dokie, blue. Ah, right, that's organza. So that's not good because that's see through. Right, so that answers that question. Not blue. Fine. The other's a lilac or white. So, silver or pink? Hmm. I think the silver one, maybe. Oh, I like them both. I think I'll go silver. Right. So, what I need to do now is attach the ribbon, which is a bit of a pain. And I think I'm going to go for double-sided, but this is too, I'd have to be too precise if I use that because it's exactly the same width. So I'm going to go with a narrower one, but not too narrow. So this one should be plenty. Okay, so that's good enough. So I need to get this down on the picture. And I am going to overlap so that the ribbon has, so that it secures the canvas down and there's an overlap of the ribbon onto the picture. Right, so there. Damn it, not too far. Right, now should I put the paper down the... 
Right, I'll do each ribbon at a time, I think. Don't want to end up too much. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, let's put the tape down and then I can do one piece of ribbon at a time. Ha! -ha. Okay. Look, learning as I go. Leave me alone. Right. So let's do the short edge again. In fact, I'll do this long edge so that I can scoop that in. So, this is going to be a bit more difficult. I don't want to overlap there with the tape. I'm following the outline on the canvas because I left a bit of edge strip from the canvas on. So I'm just following that line. I've done it again, gone outside the edge of the canvas, which I didn't want to do. Snip there. Okay. So far so good. Right, let's see if we can do this properly. So I've done it again. I'm taking too much off the roll. Wait. Okay. Last edge. Okay. Right, I'm doing this thing again where I take too much off the roll. Just be careful of that. Right. So that's secured the edges of the canvas down and it means I can apply the ribbon. So I'm not going to worry too much about the corners because what I think I'm going to do is use some embellishments. I'm not quite sure yet what yet, but I could put, you know, one of each of those in the corner to cover up the join or one each of those maybe. They're nice. So that's the plan anyway. Or maybe, you know, some little flowers or something. We'll have a look when we get there. Getting ahead of myself. So is there a side to this? Yeah, that's the fancy side. So I 
let's cut it the length that's needed. And then put it down. Uh, go to there. <coughs> and that's that straight. <coughs> Just straighten that off. Lift this up. Make sure I've got the right side down. And then... Oh, it's fraying. Shit. Okay, I'm just going to chase it around the edge, so from there, a little bit of an overlap because that needs straightening off, so I'll snip that off to straighten the edge, and then from there to there, Okay, just trying to straighten off the edges, right, so that goes there, take this off. Right, I need to try and put this on properly at this corner first. Right, and then, uh, sugar. This has to overlap a little bit. There we go. Yes, I know the edge is fraying. Shh, shh, shh. That will need trimming anyway, so I'm going to leave that. So this has to go from there. Do you see how I'm going to have to trim that up so that it's the same length as the like to the bottom of this with the ribbon look I know what I'm talking about leave me alone uh, so I'll cut it there
kayak enak, we kayak enak. Oh, I don't know which is the right edge now. Have I put the right edge down each time? Yeah, that's the right edge. Stop panicking, woman. Right. So, I just have to marry these edges up here. So that they me up and then boop, 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 boop. Oh, I love double sided tape I love it right and then that edge will need trimming but before I do that I'm going to put this on this side on right So from there to there and I shall cut it about there. Right, so that can go out the way. Let's get these edges straight if I can. Right. This up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Trimming might be a bit of an issue. I have to find my little dainty scissors. I think. Right. So up to there. We go up in there. There. So that's where we are so far. You can actually see it better that way, maybe. So I just need to trim these edges so that they're square. Where's my other little? I've got some little embroidery scissors somewhere, somewhere. Says. Here they are. They might be a little bit thinner for getting it trimmed. So it doesn't majorly matter because I think I'm going to put some embellishments around anyway. It's alright, Picks. Shush. Oh, I'm going to need to get the back out. Dog! Okay. Like so. Like so. And that one's good. Okay. Right. I think that looks okay. I just need to... Pixie! So, I've got these, which I think might go quite nice. I do have these... These sort of... They're gold, so I don't think they'll go. They're silver, so they might go. I mean, less is more, isn't it, really? What I think I might do is have 
a cheeky butterfly landing on the edge of the picture maybe. Or I've got these. These might look nice in the corners. What do you reckon? You can't see. Those in each corner, maybe? That would hide the corner situation, wouldn't it? Go with that. Let's get four. Hmm. Would it look too much though? That's the thing, isn't it? I'm just trying to trim this string off the edge of this butterfly. <laughs> Good. Harder than you think to get rid of the evidence of that string. So, one there. That fits in more with the theme of sort of shininess, doesn't it? The question is, if I'm doing these at the bottom, do I put them the right way around or upside down? Hmm, decisions, decisions. It's, this is more difficult framing is more difficult I think when you've got a picture that doesn't actually fill the frame like if this was a full 30 by 40 like it was advertised I wouldn't be having to do all this pigging about because I'd be able to fit it bang it in the frame jobs are good <laughs> but because it's um doesn't fill the frame you've got to do something around it haven't you right so I've got four butterflies see my problem is I could over decorate for sure 
very easily and then it ends up looking busy. Right, I just need to make sure these... Because they've had... They're strung together. There's little bits of thread sticking out the edges which I just have to sort of clip off. Stop it looking messy. So these are, these butterflies have a dimension, like they're moulded, I'll show you. So I'm not sure how I'm going to stick them. But the most important question is, or the first question that needs to be answered, is do I do the butterflies upside down at the bottom? I don't think I will. I think it'll look silly. Upside down butterflies, what do you reckon? The right way around, butterflies? Can't quite see it all, can you? It's really annoying. Right, I think I'm going to, I'm not going to go with stickers, I'm just going to stick these in all four corners, not sure how. <laughs> how am I going to stick these? I've got a feeling the PVA will be messy. <gasps> I've got those pads, haven't I? I've got those pads, I'll use those pads. Oh my god. Flash of, flash of inspiration. Grab them out again and have a look. Right, I think these butterflies are sufficiently tri <coughs> <coughs> trimmed up, she says. Finishing off one. Alright. Let's get these sticky pads out. Definitely need to get the vac out. Right. Sticky pads. Get sheet sticky pads out. Ta da! So, how much of the pad do I need to get rid of? So, one sticky pad. Let me. Extract one pad of sticky. Oh, right. So the idea is we peel it off the. No, come on. Right. One pad of stickiness. Now, I don't need all of it, otherwise, it will show through from the other side. So I'm going to cut that in half, I think and use that for two. See if that works. Ah! Stuck to the scissors. Stuck to the scissors. Right, so if I stick that to... like so... Ooh, I can see it a little bit. So it's still too big, that. 
dispose of that one. I've ruined it now. Ruined it! Oh, God's sake. So this other one, maybe I can go in half again. the middle that's all right take them back enough now then I'm at the top of the picture yeah so I want to make sure that the body is in the corner Tweezers. and that it covers the join so I'm going there like so is that going to be secure enough? I think it's okay So the next one I'll have this one in this corner so I need this pad off these scissors get off stick it in the middle of the butterfly take the back off and stick it in the position it needs to be which is there is that more of an acute angle than the other one? ah, that'd be right right Same again at the bottom. Alright, let me just leave that there a minute. I just want to check these. Uh, get off! Alright. I just want to check the edges of these to make sure that they're trimmed up nice. That one's brilliant. This one has still got little bits stuck out the side which I want to try and get rid of if I can. Nobody's there, Pixie. I know the postman hasn't been yet today, but that might be because for a change we don't have anything to deliver. Shh. Or is it just the wind? See, I don't know what she's hearing, so I can't tell her off for barking. Well, I mean, I can. But, you know, she hears things that. Often she'll bark at nothing or it seems like me it's she's barked at nothing but actually what she's doing is she's barking at the postman further up the street as he's putting stuff through other people's letterboxes. Right, so these need to be this way round. Like so I think. Actually, if I put that little antenna into the corner like that, that'll do it. Right, 
and then I think I'll leave it at that. So let's cut this up. I'm gonna have to throw half of it away, which is a bit sad. Don't like throwing things away. So butterfly number one. Bottom butterfly number one. Take that off. Come on. Okay, so I need to be in the corner with the things like so and then this looks like it might be a bit big actually I think the other one was small should be able to get away with it Same thing. Get the antenna lined up. There we go. And that, I'm calling that. There. So let's D. What's it, the frame? Oh, let's construct the frame, the picture, let's construct the picture. What am I talking about? Right, so what goes in there first is perspex. So I need to remove the sheet from the perspex. So there's a thing on each side that I've got to try and... <sighs> Always a pain to get started. Really? Come on. There we go. So I want to try and not touch that now. I've exposed it. So I've got a pla an old plastic cover in. Off the top of the glue, take that off, use that on this corner. So I can turn it over. Ah. Right, let's put that down there. I'll try and get this corner off. Okay. Right. And again, without touching it, because I don't want to put my grubby fingerprints all over it, it can get in there. Right. So. So that's in. And then this can go in. Right. And then I'll leave that in so they know what frame it is. Which way around was it? That way around. Right. 
Right, before I put all those down, just want to make sure it... Ah, oh, just touch the front. Oh, there's a bit of ribbon muck in there. Look, a bit of ribbon muck. So that's the completed image. That's the completed picture. I think it looks I think it looks okay, but I made it. So <laughs> I shall take that piece of ribbon muck out and close it all up. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found something of interest or use in this video. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting me. It's very much appreciated. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. Thanks very much. Bye.